to the third segment of our working on strengthening our knees. The first two segments were done sitting. The second two segments were going to do standing. Now remember what I said, you have to do all four to be able to accomplish the results we want. So we're trying to strengthen our thighs, our calves, our hamstrings, and all the surrounding areas around our knees so we can build up the strength that we need to get our knees strong. So when you do the exercises, start with segment number one, do those exercises, go to two, now you're gonna to go to three, and when we do four, you're gonna to go to four. So you'll be doing all of those exercises when you do the complete knee strengthening segments. Remember to hydrate and drink plenty of water during the exercise process before and after. So you're gonna be standing now and I want you to make sure that you have a chair to hold on to because you don't wanna ever lose your balance and possibly twist your knee in a way that could be very harmful. So it's very important that you have something to hold on to while we do these exercises. So the first exercise we're gonna do are our heel lifts that we did while we were sitting, only we're gonna do them standing now. So you're gonna rise up on your toes and down. And up on your toes and down. Three and down and four. On the fourth one, I want you to hold it there. Stay there. If you can, leave go of the chair that you're holding on to and try to balance and lower and do it again up and down up and down up and down up and hold it now when you hold it i want you to squeeze in your abdomen squeeze in your buttocks and hold it so you're working all those parts that we were talking about your abdomen your buttocks your thighs your hamstrings, and down. Let's do one more set. Up and down, rise up and down, up and down, hold it this time, stay on your toes, your heels lifted, tuck in your abdomen, don't hold your breath, squeeze your buttocks, Try to leave go of the chair on balance and lower down. So each time you do this, you wanna do it for a longer length of time. The next exercise we're gonna do, you're gonna take your outside leg, lift it up and down. Up and down, nice and slow. Our exercises are slow, smooth, with resistance, down, up, down. Now the fourth one, we're gonna hold this one as well. Hold it, strengthen out the leg, and down. Try it again. Now if you're sore or tired, don't do it again, because the worst thing you wanna do is fatigue the leg and knee. Up and down. Don't put it up high at first, start it really low. And down, you wanna build your strength. Two, and lift it up again. This time we're gonna hold it. And down. Now, as you get your strength, you can increase doing these exercises four times each. Now we're gonna to switch to the other side. Lift your leg, here we go. Up and down, up nice and slow, down, up and down, up, hold it there. Now if you're starting to feel fatigued, let the leg drop, don't do anymore. And down, if you're feeling okay, let's do another set. 
Don't fatigue, because that will hurt you. Up and down. We're trying to build your strength. And down. Up and down. One more, up. Hold it. Good, and down. Shake out your legs. The next exercise we're gonna do is just marching. Up, down, nice and slow. Up, down, then when you march, resist, press your hand down your leg. Resist, push it down. So as your leg goes up, you're pushing it down and you're adding resistance, so it's making your leg, your knee, your thigh, your calf work harder. And resist, 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 one more, resist. The next exercise and the last one we're gonna do is called a tango slide. So you wanna put your chair in front of you again. You're gonna lunge with one leg bent and one leg is straight. So this one's gonna feel a little pressure on your knee. Now what I want you to do is make sure you don't go over too far, that's wrong. Make sure you go over just slightly so your thigh is not going beyond your knee. Make sure your foot is pointed so it's nice and comfortable. Because you don't want to turn out your foot or torque your knee in any way. This is to strengthen over here and give our knee a little more strength. But it's important you hold on to the chair. Because I still want you to put your weight on the chair. You're not ready to do this without a chair. Then slide your feet together just like this. Then do it to the other side. One leg is bent, one leg is straight. Pull it in. Now I'm gonna remove the chair so you can see my legs, but I do not want you to do it without the chair. So one leg is bent like this, one leg is straight. Then you're gonna pull your legs in together. One leg is bent, one leg is straight, and then you're gonna straighten up. One leg is bent, one leg is straight, and you're gonna straighten up. One leg is bent, one leg is straight, and you're gonna straighten up. But I always want you to have the chair right in front of you so you can put most of your weight on there until we have built a lot of strength in our lower legs to be able to handle that. Make sure you practice it. Make sure you do the first two segments first before you do the third, and then add the third on. If you need to contact me, www.gohealthysteps.com. Click the contact button, ask me anything you want, and I'll see you later for the fourth segment. Bye.